Updating our buildings as opposed to building new schools to us is just a no-brainer. What we believe is that when you have five buildings that need some TLC, that instead of building from the ground up, it's always important to look at the envelope, look at the buildings, and that's what we've done with, with the supportive train. So the Dighton Rehoboth project is a textbook example of how to maximize benefits from the performance contracting legislation that's available in Massachusetts. In particular, they've combined over 12.5 million in self-funding conservation measures and renewable energy systems with another 6.5 million in taxpayer-funded roof and windows projects, exceeding 19 million in improvements overall. The level of our facilities was really, we were in dire straits. Each of our five buildings um, did not have any compatible equipment. Um, each boiler system was operating with different boilers. We had HVAC problems. And to have train come in and actually do a complete look at what our facilities did and didn't have and come up with a comprehensive plan on how we could start ticking these items off was extremely advantageous. So we've installed new HVAC and control systems throughout the facility. Those control systems are monitored 24-7 and used to sustain optimal operation over the long term. We've installed new boilers, both high efficiency oil boilers and biomass wood chip boilers. Most notably, we've installed renewable energy systems such as solar carports uh, throughout the district. There's approximately 1.2 megawatts of solar carports uh, in parking lots throughout the district and they make approximately 75% of the power used by the district on an annual basis. One of those uh, residuals from the solar arrays has been lighting in all our parking lots. And the big takeaway, not only for the savings and the energy, is the safety factor that we didn't expect. Right now I'm standing in front of a biomass boiler. This is one of the major that we installed during this performance contract. Biomass fuel, uh, which is wood chip over here, costs less than half the cost for oil. Working with Train, our experience has, has been nothing but positive. There are always bumps in the road in, in everything that you do. But the key to this relationship with Train is the response to those bumps in the road and how quickly we can resolve issues when they do arise. Train has been a fantastic partner with the district and we would absolutely recommend them to other districts that are interested in uh, partaking of the performance contracting. I have personally spoken to a number of my colleagues who have come on site to see what we've done so far and they've walked away with their eyes wide open to give that performance contract and in train uh, a first and second look. The bottom line of this project is that this administration was able to fund millions in needed infrastructure renewal with zero capital outlay and zero expense to the taxpayers. In addition, taxpayers approved another six and a half million in long needed roof and window replacements, which positions them now to continue their mission for the next 25 to 30 years. This project is a home run.